Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes that Microsoft have been working on in Windows 11 build 26220.5770 for version 25H2 in the dev channel. These changes also apply for Windows 11 build 26120.5770 for version 24H2 in the beta channel. First, in this release, you will notice that the company has updated the build number to 26220 instead of the previous 26200 but this change is only on the dev channel as version 25h2 will be released with the 26200 series build number now as part of the new features this release introduces a new braille viewer that is now part of the windows navigator feature and it allows you to view on a screen textual and braille representation of output for teaching purposes so to get this feature working we need to go to the settings app and then we need to go to accessibility and then from narrator we are going to notice a new braille setting and from here and from here we need to click on download and install braille and this action will download the required packages to enable this feature now if we go to file explorer when sharing a file the Windows Share interface will not include a new Find Apps button. And from here, you can search for the app that you want to use to share this specific file. Now, from this interface, you should be able to search for the app that you want to use to share the specific file. Let's say WhatsApp. However, it appears that this feature is not working on my device. So let me just show you this screenshot. And from here, you can see that if you type Paint, Paint is going to show up as the result so you can share that specific image in this case with this application. However, you will also see a list of related apps that you can install from the Microsoft Store by just clicking the install button on the right. Now, Microsoft is also introducing a new convert to table with Excel AI action that you can use with click to do. So basically when using click to do and that specific snapshot includes a table. So you will be able to select the table and export all that data directly into Excel. However, you will need to have the latest version of Excel from a Microsoft 365 subscription in order to get this option. And finally, when using click to do, if the snapshots includes information about a specific person, such as for example, their email, when hovering over the specific data, click to do will be able to show you the hard information about that specific person. However, this feature is only available for school and work accounts. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that we're going to see on Windows 11 build 26220.5770 in the dev channel for version 25H2. Also, this particular preview includes different fixes and some non-issues, which you can see on the screen. You can always get more information by checking the link in the description. Now, remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.